children. How are you all doing there? Hey, it's been a bit of a chilly day. I can definitely feel winter's coming on. But, uh, you know, I quite like winter because at night I can cuddle in my blanket under my duvet. And you know, Harvey and Hallie, they like to sleep with us every night. They cuddle with us too because I think they're also getting cold. Hey, are you all ready in bed? Are you all snug as a bug? Hey, we're going to read a book called The Busy, Busy Day by Claire Friedman and Daniel Howworth. Okay, so Claire and Daniel wrote this book called The Busy, Busy Day. Okay. Hooray! Spring is here, cried Ginger, tugging on his old boots. Come on, Floppy, let's go do some gardening. They marched outside and looked around. What shall we do first, Ginger? asked Floppy excitedly. We were just talking about the seasons. I know, said Ginger. Let's clear away those logs. And he went to get the wheelbarrow. Chip, 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 chip. Two worried looking robins swooped down. Hmm, something's bothering them, said Ginger. I can't see anything wrong, can you? No, said Floppy, shaking his head. Perhaps they think we want to eat their worms. Because you know, birds love to eat worms in the garden, especially after it's rained. They looked in the wheelbarrow and couldn't believe their eyes. Snug in one corner lay a nest full of baby robins. Oh, a whole bunch of little baby birds. Cheep, 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 cheep. So that's why the robins were chirping, said Ginger. They thought we might frighten their baby chicks. We mustn't disturb them. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. What shall we do now, Ginger? Floppy asked. Hmm, thought Ginger thoughtfully. Well, we can't clear away the logs without the wheelbarrow. We'll have to do another job instead. They started to pick up the flower pots and stack them. Oh, now Ginger had found something else. Come and look at this, Floppy, he whispered. But be very quiet. What have they found now, children? What did they find? Let's have a look. <gasps> Inside the biggest flower pot, two tiny little hedgehogs were curled up fast asleep. They snuffled and snored noisily. Oh, grass flop excitedly. Don't they look funny? Shh, don't say a word, Ginger hushed. We mustn't wake them up. They both put it Toed away without a sound. Oh, look at those baby hedgehogs, eh? Cute. What's a baby's about? Well, Floppy, said Ginger, we can't sort out the flower pots, but there are lots of other jobs to do. He opened the shed door. Shed is like a, like a Wendy house or like somewhere where you keep your tools, eh? He opened the shed door. We can tidy up the shed, he said. Eek! 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 That's not the door. What is that making that noise? Oh no, maybe it's your boots squeaking, Ginger. Hmm, it's not me. It's not my boots. So what can it be? What do you think it is, children? Let's have a look. Floppy peered along the dusty shelves between the boxes and the baskets. He sneezed. Ginger checked the bulb packets. Floppy tipped the watering can upside down. But nothing. He couldn't find anything. Eek! Eek! <gasps> there it goes again, said Floppy. What is it? I don't know. It's a very loud squeak. Look how they're looking inside everything. What is that noise? Where is it coming from? Ginger sat down by some seed trays to think what could it be and very nearly squashed a whole family of mice. Oh goodness that was close said Ginger. So that's what all that squeaking is about. Well we can't clean the shed now we might disturb the mice. It doesn't 
doesn't matter where they go, they're finding all these babies. Ginger closed the door of the shed quietly behind them. Don't worry, Floppy, he said. We can still go do some weeding. All those dandelions must go. Floppy kneeled beside the flower bed. A big orange butterfly landed on his nose. <laughs> laughed Floppy. That tickles. Another butterfly fluttered around his ears. Oh, Ginger said to Floppy, I think the butterflies are trying to tell us something. What could it be? said Floppy in surprise. We do love butterflies. What could it be? Ginger looked closely at the dandelion leaves. Oh, just as I thought, he said, caterpillars. One day, they will grow into butterflies too. No more weeding till then. We can't do garden work until these butterflies and caterpillars are all sorted. Look at that cute little caterpillar. Ginger and Floppy walked back up the garden. Ginger pulled off his old boots. Our garden may not be tidy, he said, looking around, but I think it's Perfect, the way it is. You're right, said Ginger. Floppy agreed happily. It's perfect for all our little friends and... It's perfect for all our little friends and... Dot, dot, dot. It's just perfect for a sunny picnic too. Ginger fetched the picnic blanket. Floppy brought out some orangeade and cakes. Everyone can enjoy our garden, Ginger said cheerfully as he tucked in, and everybody did. Oh, they're having a lovely picnic. Oh, the end. We had a nice picnic at school. Remember, we had all the mummies and daddies round and the grannies and grandpas, and we went to the park and we had a picnic with all the friends. Remember? Okay, right. So you must sleep tight. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Bye.